My friends, it is that time again. I have a Rurock helmet to unbox, and this time it is very special because this is the brand new track helmet that they just released. Now, silly story, I wanted to reveal this helmet with that motorcycle. As you guys probably know, I'm uh, currently building an R6 into an R6M, and uh, let's just say the timeline got a little pushed back. So I'm like a two months off from that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing of this helmet. I have not checked it out. It is very cool. It is very expensive, or at least to me. Hopefully all the updates that this helmet has will make it a fantastic track helmet that I will then use whenever I get to take that R6 onto the track. I'm gonna grab a knife and we're gonna check this helmet out today. All right, nobody cares about this box. Top, whatever. Ugh. As we can see here on the front, we've got Rurock Atlas 4.0 Street. Now, this helmet is actually one of three helmets in the Atlas 4.0 line. I'm gonna do a future video kind of explaining to you guys the three types of helmets that are in the Atlas 4.0 line, but that'll be for another video. Today, we only care about the track helmet. Oh, look at that, little, little wording on the tag, love it. Oh, and we get a, we get a track, that's pretty neat. We got the uh, extra visor, which comes with all the helmets. Holy spoiler, Batman. Okay. Anything else in here that I care about? No, but, oh, I do. I take that back. Came with a pin lock. Thank God, absolutely necessary. Uh, I do appreciate that the inside of the box all has like imagery of tracks. That's pretty neat. <laughs> that spoiler looks dope. Look at that. You guys probably already know, Rurok helmets are all carbon fiber and stuff. They are already light. This thing is somehow even lighter. And I think I read it's 10% lighter than the other ones, which is awesome. All right, let's talk about the updates. Uh, first off, we have this rubber seal here at the top of the helmet. That is going to block wind and moisture from getting into this helmet. Obviously with it being a track helmet, it is going to be utilized in a high speed environment. So. Blocking out some of that wind is gonna help out. That's why you'll also notice here on the sides, the side vents are actually capped. So that way it'll help with wind noise, hopefully. Third, we have this really cool spoiler at the back. What that's gonna do is like when you're hauling balls down a track, that's gonna keep your head more stable, hypothetically. Again, I have not tested this helmet yet. I'll go for a ride here in a second and try it out. But I think that's the mentality of the spoiler. You see spoilers like this on a lot of the like really expensive track focused helmets. So that's awesome to see. Let's talk about price. Price is 650 bucks, which is a lot. Can you find out what the carbon cost for me? The core carbon, which is the, uh, the cheapest you can get the Atlas 4.0 carbon is 475. But if you want one of the other colors, the price does jump up to 595 if you want like gloss carbon and stuff like that. So if you're already got like a gloss carbon, it's not really that much more. That's like, what, 70 bucks? That's actually interesting. Okay, so one of the additions, uh, which I don't know if I'm gonna love or not yet, but in order to get the safety rating that this helmet needs to be able to be on track, especially in the UK, uh, got rid of the Fidlock buckle that I, I love, love, love that on my motor vlogging helmet. It is essential. This has D-ring, which is very much more normal for other motorcycle helmets in the industry. If one of you guys are out there and you're like, I don't like Fidlock, they got D-ring now on the track helmet only. That'll be interesting. I'm gonna have to go back to the old school D-ring situation, but we're gonna try it out. Next up, I gotta I got figure out if I can show you guys this. Okay, so it looks like the internals are relatively similar to mine. So if you guys have looked into motorcycle helmets, you've probably heard of Rion before. It's this little, can you guys see on the inside there? It's this blue squishy material that is, I don't even know. Here's a video explanation on Rion. 
At the core of rion technology is an energy-absorbing superpolymer. It is soft and flexible in its natural state, but absorbs energy by stiffening when subjected to force. When formed using our patented computational design techniques, rion is created into what is known as a metamaterial. Delivering new properties that were previously thought impossible was conventional materials. So it's kind of like the new safety thing in motorcycle helmets. Many other motorcycle helmets are using that. So apparently it's like the new, new thing. Uh, so that's awesome that we have safety at the top of the pillars here on the track helmet. And I'm interested to see if I'll actually be able to feel that when I get the helmet on and I, I go for a quick ride here. This conversation comes up very often with Rock helmets. It's safety. I get it. It's a helmet. It needs to be safe. Not going to go into that. But uh, the track helmet is DOT. Nobody really cares. ECE 22.06 and ACU gold stickering. Uh, for us in America, I've never heard of that, but I did look it up and that gold stickering is absolutely required if you want to be able to take a helmet onto the track in the UK. So it has that. Awesome. If you're one of those people that actually believes in safety ratings, which you should be. I digress. Another odd thing that Bo just pointed out is we do have the shockwave mount here on the track helmet. As a shop, we have discussed that having a shockwave mount on a track helmet does seem kind of silly because it's not like you're going to take, you're not gonna be listening to music on a track. Maybe they put that there for the people that are gonna buy the track helmet but are gonna use it on the street. We'll just say that they left the option there. All of their other Atlas designs use that, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. I'm gonna throw this thing on. I'm gonna see if I can get a microphone inside of it. Let's go for a ride on my MT-10 and finish this video up and see if I can tell a difference between this and the Atlas 4.0 that I ride in every single day. Let's jump on the bike. All right, audio is going. Alrighty guys, we are here on the, oh yeah, I gotta do the D-rings, oh my goodness, this has been way too long since I've done this. Alrighty guys, uh, y'all are gonna have to forgive me for my audio setup, I literally just threw a mic in here, and as you can see, I just got the mic taped, so audio quality might not be at the quality you guys are used to. If this helmet does well, I may make it my new motovlogging helmet, so we'll have to see. But uh, I'm here on the MT-10 SP, and uh, we're gonna go for a little ride. It's weird having a clear visor. I don't know, I don't know the last time I rode with a clear visor on. Off the bat, I don't know if it's because I typically rig up my motovlogging helmets or what, but this thing feels so incredibly light. I have never seen somebody turn so slow. Oh my goodness. Let's just go ahead and put her in neutral for this one, boys. All right, we live. Alrighty guys, uh, so we're here with the uh, Atlas 4.0 track. The first thing I'm, I'm realizing with this helmet is how incredibly light it is. Again, normally I've got a GoPro up here, I've got my Cardo on my side, I've got my little audio pack that I just have in my jacket right now. But without all of that, plus this helmet is actually 10% lighter than an Atlas 4.0. And my goodness, it, it, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a helmet right now, which is strange. I wanna, uh, I'm gonna get up a little faster here in a minute. I wanna see how this thing's cutting through the air because as of right now, I don't know if I've ever felt less air impedance on my head before. I know it's a very strange statement. It's just weird and the sound is better now. I, I can hear like slight wind noise, but there is definitely less wind noise in this helmet than my regular helmet, which would make it great for motovlogging because of these vents being capped off. I, I really love how light this helmet feels right now. This is incredible. Rurok helmets are already light, which is why I like using them for my motovlogging stuff, so that way when I put all my stuff on it, they're not, they're, you know, I start off from a lower point. Bro, holy shit! This thing cuts through the wind so well. What is that, 89? 
Oh my god, I feel like I'm going like 15. <laughs> this is great! Oh my god! I could not imagine doing a track day with this. Especially if you don't box it up with all that regular shit that I put on a helmet. And I've also got this little rubber thing up here. I guess that's supposed to keep out moisture and wind. And I've got no wind on my face at all right now, but I've got that inside vent taped up. If you wanted airflow, you would leave that untaped or closed. I've got it closed and taped. Audio is key for me if you don't understand that. I will say when I'm getting up to speed, I do hear a little more wind. It's still better than my Atlas 4.0 carbon though. So I would say the, the, the wind noise is a little less. It's not like night and day different less. This helmet is just cutting through wind so well. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I didn't expect it to uh, be that big of a difference. This over my regular carbon helmet. I am changing my mind. The stability that I actually feel. I don't know if it's that rear spoiler or this little like rubber gasket thing. Whatever they did, I mean I know what they did, but like however it's working is incredible. I, I, I would not have expected that. Like typically you'd get a little bit of buffeting with a helmet, but bro, I'm locked. This is great. I bet this would make my motor vlogging videos more stable because my head's bobbing around less. And I'm on a naked bike. I'm not on a bike with any sort of fairings. I got some work to do. I got a new motor vlogging helmet uh, video to make. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. I love this. Okay. Uh, initial impression, it actually makes a difference. Holy crap. I would not have thought that, truly. Regardless of if the D-ring is safer or whatever, I will miss my uh, Fidlock buckle. I love the shit out of a Fidlock buckle, man. You don't have that here, but that allows them to have like higher safety ratings. Cool. I'm here for the light, the lighter helmet and the stability because I authentically think it will make my GoPro footage better. All right, guys, uh, so that's my little quick run with the track. Does it make a difference? I would not have thought that, that, that there would have been a difference. I was expecting there to not be. Does it look any better? It looks about the same, other than this little rubber piece. That looks a little different in the, vis in the little spoiler on the back. I do think the spoiler makes the helmet look just a bit cooler. Alrighty, uh, well I gotta put a visor, a colored visor on this thing, because you guys know Rurok's got like a million colored visors. This is fantastic. So, here's what I'm gonna do. This is the first impressions video. I don't have a ton of time right now. I just want to show you guys the helmet, get it unboxed, and take it for a quick ride. What I am going to do is wear this helmet for the next while, and I'll bring you guys a full review a couple weeks down the road. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. I'll have a link down in the description for Rock if you guys want to check one out yourself. 650 bucks, but it's incredibly light. It's incredibly stable, and uh, it does fit slightly tighter. I don't know what's causing that, but uh, I did notice it was a little tighter to put on than my regular carbon. Uh, but overall, this thing's awesome. I cannot wait to do more riding on this thing and, and really get a feel for it. All right, guys, so I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Put OC in your comedy if you made it to the end of the video. Uh, that stands for outro crew if you made it to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about the, uh, about the track. Do you like the little spoiler thing? Do you care about the weight savings? Let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all ride safe out there. People are crazy. People are crazy like me. We you go fast and have fun. Dude, I'm digging this thing. I also like the graphics too. They're all subtle and stuff.